Hi, I'm Sandy Powell. Welcome to the Roundtable. My topic today is don't offer your booty. We got to be better than that. It's more to us than that. That's our treasure, and it should be hidden until the one that's supposed to dig it up digs it up. Come back and talk to me about that. Don't offer the booty. I'm Sandy and welcome to the round table. I, um, I, I thought it would be just a good time for us to talk to the ladies today. Can we talk to the ladies today? I want to, as a woman of age, uh, a woman of wisdom and a woman that has, that have experience in this thing we call life. Um, I just want to impart something to all of you, uh, and just take it as, a um, a pearl and just remember that in order for you to get the pearl you got to crack some shells you gotta you gotta break open some stuff and that's what I want to do today I want to break open some stuff it may not necessarily feel good because I'm having to pry something open that's forcibly closed but after you open up the the clam or break some shells you're gonna get this wonderful thing we call a pearl something of value so my, my, my thought today is I got to speak to why do we as women, young women, older women, and especially Christian women, find it necessary to offer up our behinds as bait or as an offering or as a affirmation to the world? That's a pondering moment. Let's think about that. When we, when, we, when we come and we photograph ourselves or videotape ourselves, and this is not every woman, but this is just our young women and sometimes our supposedly aged women, and then I have to go to our Christian women. Why do we take, and I'm gonna say it, our booty, our best, our, our treasure, and offer it to the world as bait to, you know, to, for, I think it's kind of a uh, showing our assets, but then we come around and we don't understand why men don't respect us past our bodies, why men don't take us serious about our minds, why can't we find the right guy who will love us for who we are and not just our backside. So we have to address this. We have to talk about the downside of offering something to later now be disrespected about what we offer. Now, I'm not talking about people who violate others uh, in, 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 in sexual ways or that you this somehow brought on uh, a rape situation or molestation situation. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about women, young ladies, young women, older women, aged women, church women, Christian women, that we take the time to offer up, I guess the best part of us, I think we think. We, we used to take photographs. I know back in the day, we used to take photographs when all me and my girls got together. We took a photograph. We stood facing the camera. Now I have to look over my shoulder so you can see my face because what I'm offering as a, as a, as a photo op is my behind. I'm offering up the, the booty, you know, the treasure. And we think for some reason that we got to do that so that we can be noticed, but you don't. I'm going to tell you about men. They noticed you before you even arrive. If you're walking down the street, trust me, 
if you're walking toward any man, they've already taken notice of you. And I guarantee you, your, your treasure, let's say this coming called the booty treasure, has already been noticed. So what we don't have to do as women, we don't have to offer up that as the bait to see me, to be affirmed, uh, to be considered, to, and it's kind of like to me, it's, it's such a degrading thing because it looks like to me, like the auction block. We put ourselves out there for auction to the highest bidder. Uh, and basically we're offering ourselves to, to people to affirm us or to, uh, to like us. It's, it's, it's a auction blocks mentality to turn our behinds to the world and photograph it as if to say, this is the best part of me. You used to say, you know, put on your best smile, make sure your teeth are white, make sure your hair is fixed. They don't even have a uh, hair done sometimes. Sometimes they got on a, a bonnet and or the hair is jacked up, but because the booty is shaking, the treasure is shaking, that they may have 150,000 likes. But all they are looking at is what you consider your best attribute, which in turns may not be your best attribute. Nine times out of 10, that is not our best attribute. We have minds, we have abilities, we have um, uh, uh, degrees. Some of us have degrees. Some of us are ministers. Some of us are, are in the church and we're, we're uh, uh, rendering our gifts to the Lord, but on the sideline, we're offering up the treasure as a bait. And this is the part we've got to, as women, we got to turn it around. You know, uh, some of my single ladies uh, in ministry, they always ask, you know, what is it about me that I can't seem to find? Or they, they want to know, what do I need to do? Well, I'll tell you what you don't need to do. You don't need to turn your behind to the camera. Because I always say this, the bait that you put out is the, is the type of fish that you'll catch. If the only reason why he's going to take notice of you is because of your treasure, then when the next big treasure come along, he might just move along to that treasure or he might just take notice in that treasure. Let's not get it crooked. I'm not talking about self imaging where we uh, take pride in ourselves and, and, and we may do things to enhance ourselves. That's, that's on you. That's, that's all personal. But what I'm talking about is everybody or not be a part of my treasure. You know, when you, when you, uh, go treasure hunting, you don't take the world with you. <laughs> no, the treasure belongs to you. The values belong to you. And your treasure, your backside, your behind, your butt, your booty belongs to you. And then we're teaching our young women, young girls. I seen two year olds, some of them still in diapers. They're already gyrating because we have taught them that this is their value that this is how they can get people to like them. And so if they don't do these things, they won't be liked because this is what we're ultimately looking for on these social media platforms. When we do these type of things, when we turn our treasure to the camera as if to say what I have to say or what I'm thinking is not good enough. What I'm, what I'm uh, 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 aspiring to be in life, it's not good enough. I have to actually offer you uh, a bait, my treasure, for you to take notice. If that's the guy, only uh, uh, attraction to you is what's behind you, then he'll be forever, you'll be have to watch that one forever because he'll be forever chasing that. Not just on you though. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the thing. If his only interest in you was for what was behind you, then every time one of those passed by, that, that'll turn his head. You, you want a guy who's interested in you for a lot more than that. Not saying that, that you know, a, a man can't be interested in a woman in her body uh, and be attracted to her. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we as women, our offering 
is not behind us. What we have to offer a man is not solely what's behind us. That comes, you know, that comes once you have uh, 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 sealed the deal. Okay. You don't get to open up the treasure box before you dig it up. You have to get licensed now to go and just start. You just can't start digging where you want to dig. You have to have the credentials now. And this is, this is what we do. We give up the treasure. We open up the box before we get a chance for them to get it out of the ground good. We let everyone be a part of our treasure hunt. No. We have to take a little step back here as women and consider our value. Because we say that quick. I know my value. But we really don't. We don't know our value because the first thing we offer is the total treasure. We offer it up way before uh, they have even earned the right to be even uh, a digger, so to speak. You know, I made a couple of notes here that uh, we, uh, we have been reduced to our behinds. Basically, we have allowed the social media, the, the world, and I'm talking to Christian women now, we have allowed them to reduce us to our behinds. You know, we, we let them dictate to us what's attractive. You know, we, people were getting married way before uh, uh, twerking. Yeah, I didn't have to twerk to get married. Neither time. That, that, that's what we have reduced it to. We have reduced uh, our, you know, and this is what it is. It comes from a lot of the looking at uh, people who are fame and fortune, uh, our stars, so to speak, and uh, this is how they are making their money. And we think just the average Joe, you know, that we somehow or another are going to be put in that same category. Well, that's ridiculous. That's just like everybody who bounced the basketball think they're going to be the next Kobe Bryant. No, that, that doesn't make sense. Everybody that's bouncing the basketball is not going to be Kobe Bryant or, or, or Curry. And definitely everybody who's gyrating is not going to be the next Beyonce or the next uh, 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 Cardi B. You know, some of y'all are wasting your time, you know, on, on what you consider is going to take you there. Your treasure is not... Uh, enough in, 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 in or oh, let me say this don't allow your treasure to be about what's going on in your body because this is the thing about the, the, the body and the, the anatomy you know it changes <laughs> I hate to tell you it changes not only that but there could be circumstances that could change it for you then what becomes your value then what puts you on the map you know then if 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 you feel like you can only uh, uh, attract a man by turning your behind to the camera to attract him, what happens if that's not there anymore? What happens when one comes along that's bigger than yours and the man you like and, or whatever or considering as a, as a help meet or, or, or a spouse uh, is attracted to that only? It'll be a continual, you have, to, you have to sit on his lap almost to keep him from looking at the next big treasure, so to speak. So this is where we have to, uh, when, you, when you talk about I'm looking for a man in my life, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a man who, who uh, respects women and honors women, well then what you got to do is you got to have a different bait. You can't have the same bait that the world has, Christian women, and expect to get something other than that. You have to raise the standard. You have to consider yourself uh, uh, not be reduced to the size of your or the, or the size of your behind, so to speak, as an offering to the camera. I can't. It's hard for me to look on uh, social media and not see this mentality. I'm talking about folk of the cloth, folk of the cloth, and and we think that it's cool, it's okay, you know. Uh, they got this new thought out now. It, you know, it's a, it's a very seductive, seducive thing that has entered into the church. Seduction and sexuality has entered into the church, and we call it different, but it's not different. It's no different than it was back then when Satan seduced Eve. It ain't no different. It's, it's seduction. 
being, you know, allowing uh, uh, things that are ungodly to transpire in our lives. And then we cut because we carry a title. We think it's OK to walk in it, but it's not. There's no such thing. Uh, or, or let me just say this. It's not attractive to see ministers of the gospel declare themselves to be sexy and saved as a platform. Because to me, sexy is for husband and wife, not the world. I don't need the deacons of world changes to know I'm sexy. I, that, that, that should not be. They just need to know I'm saved, sanctified, and married to Reverend Powell. That's, that's it. To, for, the, for me to have my platform, you know, uh, sensual and, and saved, sexy and saved, uh, we're offering the wrong thing. And if we're single, uh, you are alluring the wrong thing. You, the, your bait is, tr is your treasure from behind, and your catch is going to be treasure hunters. It's going to be those men who are looking for the treasure. And that's how come we end up in so many different rounds after rounds after rounds with different treasure hunters because that's what you're putting out as debate. Let them know your mind. Let them know your, your heart for God. That's, that should be where your treasure is. You know, let them know that my treasure is not here on this earth. It's definitely not, it's not my behind. And any man that wants you or desires you, his treasure should not be your behind. His treasures should be those of, uh, in, in heaven as well. And therefore, whether you got a behind or not, you, you have a good man if his treasures are in heaven. But when we lower our standards, you know, to meet, you know, like we're in competition with the world. The Christian woman doesn't have to be in competition with the world. There is no competition. The world to the Christian woman is our harvest. Is that, that's our, that's our uh, go out and harvest area. That's our field. Not our competition. We got to wake up and not let the world dictate to us how we are to conduct ourselves. We can be sensual with full clothing on. We can be sensual uh, with full attire. We don't have to be um, where the world, we, we, we look like the world and we act like the world. We don't have to be that in order to attract men. I'll tell you what men like. That, now, I'm going to tell you this. And all the men, if I'm wrong, y'all just write me. Write me at Risen From Ashes at bellsouth.net. That's R-I-S-E-N-F-R-O-M-A-S-H-E-S at bellsouth.net, if I'm wrong. But you all are very physical beings. And although you do appreciate a lot the physical anatomy, ultimately you want somebody with a brain in their head. You don't want to carry dead weight. You know, a mannequin with, with, you know, no brains, just heavy weight, but you look good. Even if you have arm candy, when you get ready to have a conversation, you're going to look to somebody else. Arm candy is like real candy. It's only so much of it you can take. Mm. It's only so much of it you can enjoy before it makes you sick. You know, nobody wants to eat sweets 24-7. You want something you can savor. Hear me when I say. Women, if y'all listening to me, you know, arm candy is good for a, a, a treat. You know, after you have, you know, a man want a good steak or a good piece of chicken or something like that. He don't want uh, his main course uh, uh, his uh, appetizer and, and, and his dessert all to be sweets. No. So when you think about a woman, and, and you, you got to bring more to the table than the sugar, baby. Sugar's, you know, lasts as long as it, you know. After a while, you got to, you know, sugar is over. Then what? 
Then when it comes down to running the household, then when it comes down to uh, 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 being his help me to help undergird him or whatever he's doing or or being uh, uh, able to raise your children. See, arm candy is, is only good for so long. Then after a while, you're going to need something a little more than arm candy. So that's why when we offer up, uh, you know, we think looks or or, or the or the treasure so to speak, the, the bootie is the thing and, and all we have to be concerned with? No, it's much, much more than that. And so my thing is allow yourself to be uh, viewed in a different way. Stop offering up your behinds to the cameras for, for likes. You know, and, and basically it's for pay because if you get enough likes, you get paid for. What is that? What is that? You might as well go to, the, to downtown uh, and get on the pole. And let them throw money at you. Because that's if you get enough likes, you say, well, I get paid for that. Well, so do the stripper. So do the stripper. So we've become online strippers. That's what we are. Online entertainment, adult entertainment. Is that what we've become? Because if we offer ourselves like that and, and, and the world sees us so many times over and over again, if you get a... 2,000 likes you, and you get paid for that, you're just an online stripper or online in adult entertainment. That's it. And have we lowered ourselves to that standard? We should not lower ourselves to that standard. We should make sure we keep ourselves where men respect us. Because we'll say that quick, well, you know, men don't respect women. No, not if your bait is your tail. Mm -mm. They won't respect you. Because you have lowered your standard. You have told them, it don't take all that to jump over my fence. You can, you can just barely lift your leg and you can cross over my fence because I'm offering to you what I think is my best attribute. You know, my thing is that when I talk to a person uh, and, I, and, and I go in for, uh, let's say, a position that I want to obtain, a job or, 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 or some community e event that I want to be a part of. I don't walk in there with, with my uh, backwards. That's not what I'm offering them first. I'm offering them my mind. So you're going to see my face because that's where I talk from. You know, but when you offer your behind, is that what you talk from? Is that, is that your area of conversation? You have nothing better to describe yourself by than your, your treasure? And every time people see that, and especially older women, I'm going to tell y'all about this with older women. You may get likes about your behind, but at the end of the day, it just makes you look very immature. And not one that uh, if, 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 if you have a standard, uh, uh, women with standards, they don't want you as an influence to their, to their daughters. And then all we do is we tell our girls, when we when we do this, we tell our girls your only value is is your behind. You, you don't have anything. Back. This in the beginning in in the movement of of of, uh, of women's rights. You know today we would be messing it up. We would be messing up women's rights today because we would have lowered ourselves to uh, our feminine women attributes only by what we're offering up today. I see very young, young girls, and they, although they have makeup on, I don't care. I can see there. Some of them are 13, 14, 15, sometimes, sometimes as even as young as 10 and 11. You can see they're young. Even though they put makeup on or they have on these uh, very revealing clothing, you can look in their faces and see their innocence or see their, their, their youthfulness. They're young. And they're already being taught that this is how you get someone to like you. You show them your treasure. You open up yourself. I, you, you see grown women with their legs open up to the public. With their, with their behind actually bent over because they're gyrating. And this is what they're offering to the world, to the Christian woman, for us to be in the position of bent over, and even if we're not bent over, even if we, I call it the Rudy Tootie, even if we're doing the Rudy Tootie, which is tooting your butt up at the camera, what's that? How about a scripture? 
How about something that's going to change somebody's life? Your behind won't change another uh, young lady's life on what, what she may be going through. All you're teaching that young woman is, is that you're only as good as the size of your behind. You know, every one of us ain't gifted with, with that in the natural sense. We, and that, that's not why I'm doing the show, because I'm trying to hate. I ain't hating. With or without one, I don't have to turn my tail to the camera in order to, to obtain conversation from the opposite sex. Have a mind. Have something to say. Have something to contribute other than your physical attributes. Because like I said, one day, you know, all the Rudys and the Tooties are not always, all of them not going to sit high no more. Some of them going to droop. And some of them are going to be real far down drooped. Eventually, uh, would it say age takes its course, and, it's, and they all look the same. Yes. Like, what it, I, I, I would think that it would be not very attractive. But at the end of the day, when you have no more physical attributes to offer, what is your offering then? What's your bait now? What is the thing that that you that you can contribute to a conversation with a with the opposite sex, or even, even other women? You know, if if you have a conversation, uh, uh, if you're talking to other women, because I've seen this with 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 young women, uh, not, and not in a homosexual way. I'm not talking in that sense. I'm talking about we think we only have that to offer is our physical beauty, and I love good makeup. I love nice clothes. I love all of those things. I do. I like it. But it's not my, you know, if I don't have on makeup, if I don't have on a, a great outfit, I still can have a great conversation. I'm much, much more than my, uh, than my outward appearance. So I want to, uh, to say that it's not confidence building, but an addictive slippery slide. It's not a confident builder when we turn our behinds to the, to the camera. That's not a confidence builder. It's a slippery slide, addictive slide. Because once we get a like about what we're doing, we shoot for that again. And more likes, and more likes, and more likes. And so it becomes addictive to do more, to get more likes. And so now we start lowering our standards even the more. Even the more. Some of us are spending money on outfits to just to get on social media and, 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 and get likes. Oh, and we could take this money and invest. Yeah, actually have some, some money in a, in a bank somewhere. Actually uh, have some, some investments. H have, a, have a decent sized portfolio. Maybe. But if our only treasure is behind us, then we'll never be able to make real treasures. We'll never be able to have things because we're always looking to, to, uh, to please men. What's the thing that I could wear or get that will, that will turn heads again? They're not looking. Uh, I got to find the next thing, the next new trend, the next new outfit. And some of us are older women. We're too old for some of the stuff we wear. Mm-mm. No, I had to learn that lesson the hard way. You know, even though people was trying to put me in a box in my early 30s, I, I get it. But, you know, as a 60-year-old woman, you know, some of us, you know, our, our cut-up jeans should not be up here near our derriere. No, 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 no. That's way too far for a 60-year-old. That's way too far for 50. In y'all 40s, I'm telling y'all, come out of them because it's way past your time. Some of you in your kids' closets dressing, come out of their closet. Come out of their closet. As a matter of fact, if you take a step up, they'll take a step up. If you, t if you consider uh, your treasure, so to speak, your behind as a private matter, your children, your daughters will consider it as well. And if they don't, they'll come back and remember you know what? My mom was very discreet and ladylike. Now, I know we don't think about this today, about ladylike and, uh, and, and being discreet, but I've always said that discretion is the key. Discretion is the key. 
behinds in the cameras, twerking, behinds in the camera because we can't take a photo until we, uh, I call Rudy tooted. To, that's not discretion. It's thirsty. Did I say that loud? Yeah, I meant that. Thirsty. I, I'm so hungry for attention that I will turn my treasure over to whoever will. It's just a picture. It's not. It's a lifetime. Your great-grand-grandchildren will watch that. It's forever. It's forever. Some of us would never be able to run for public office because of what's out there. They'll tear us apart. <laughs> yeah. Because we got so much out there, uh, you know, that it'll kill our witness in, in, in a public office uh, 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 arena. Women of, 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 of the faith, we can't go and speak to the masses. We can't speak to the women about uh, 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 maintaining and being kept and, 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 and the posture of a lady because our, our page toe down. Our page is Rudy Tootie. We, 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 we constantly trying to find the new hype so that we can, too, be uh, uh, liked. Older women looking to be liked on social media. But I, I say we could take our platforms. Could not meet far from popular on, on Facebook, far from popular on any platform. But when I do take the time to be out here, let it be something that can be conducive, something that can be helpful, something that can take somebody to another level or bring joy to somebody in a positive way. You know, uh, and if you're married, let's say, can I go talk to you married women that Rudy tooted? Married women who keep their butts in the, in the uh, face of, of social media. Your husband's treasure is not for everybody to see. Your husband's treasure is not for, to be displayed in a social way. You wouldn't go out on your front lawn. Well, I don't know. Okay, you shouldn't go out on your front lawn and display your husband's treasure out there. And if you wouldn't do it out there in the front yard, then you shouldn't do it on social media. And who wants the wife that every man has uh, at least had the, the pleasure of witnessing her treasure? Final thought uh, to this topic, the treasures. Uh, us women, our backside, our, I call booties, our treasure, our dear year, our yes ma'am, I call that our house. We as women have so much more to offer. We have so much more to give to this world. We have so much more that we can impart and leave as legacy. We don't have to leave the legacy of our flesh, our shaking flesh from behind. That is not a, a, what I considered a legacy that we can go on and on and then something we can be proud of before our girls, our daughters and granddaughters and great granddaughters. And, and, and 60 years from now, you know, look at your pages, look at your, what you're offering to the world. Would you want your great grandkids to see you in this light. And I know some people think that this is cute, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm talking to the women of God. You know, if, if you're a minister, just, you know, modesty is what the Lord talks about. And I won't get on the clothesline thing because that's not really my thing. I'm not really a clothesline type of preacher lady. But there are some governing things in there that I know God speaks to me, and I know he speaks to us. You know, whenever we line up equally with the world when it comes down to things and we look like the world look, then we have to consider what we're doing, what we're thinking, and what we're being a part of. I can go to a, a believer's page and a non-believer page 
and their pages are parallel, that's problems. That means that somewhere along the line, I have I have a, a, a digressed or, di, or or derailed, and I, I, I'm I'm now leaning toward the world. We should be separate and different, and it should look separate, and it should look different. I should not turn my back to the camera, look over my shoulder as a woman of God, and offer to the world my dear ear, my yes man, my treasure. And I don't want to teach my daughters that. And I don't want my granddaughters to have learned that as well. I want them to know that their value, first of all, because they're a child of God, one. Two, is that they have more to offer. Their mind is an awesome thing. And their attributes to this world supersede anything that this flesh can offer. And I want them to have the bait to this world for a husband to see or, or, or what they're offering to the world as I'm, I'm, I'm a good enough wife. I'm someone that, that will bring value to you to be a whole lot more than our dear ear. So be mindful. Watch what you're offering. Watch what you consider uh, a bait to obtain likes or to obtain hearts or to try to uh, uh, bring affirmation to yourself. Because a man says, I like that, doesn't mean that he's a good man. Doesn't mean that he's the man for you. You have perverts out there who will like anything and everything that's perverted. You got some men out there, they're watching children pages. They're watching baby pages. You got men who will rape a baby. That, and so for them to affirm you that they like what they see on your page, that's not affirmation. But when we open ourselves up to these things, we open ourselves up to perversion, because that's what this is. Basically, by turning our tails to the, the camera or gyrating or twerking or whatever we want to call it in a camera's face, as women of God, it is perversion. And we have given in to that sickness. And because everyone's doing it, we have now said it's okay. And I'm telling you, it ain't okay. And if you want more than uh, uh, a man that's gawking at you, if you want a man that loves you, respects you, and honors you, you got to offer more than what you think your treasure is behind you. So that's just my little uh, pearl to you. I know some folk is not going to like this. I know it's not popular. I know that they'll say, well, who does she think? I know, I know, I know. But if you think I'm wrong, just take a little time with God. Just a little quiet time with God and ask him about it. And see what he says. And until next time, I just want to say I love you. Thank you for tuning in to the roundtable, and I'll see you very next time. God bless you.